Good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless that we will all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzitkan Barhamiru in Mimra Amen. Amen. We all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem, to see the building of Beit Amidash Hashem in Mimra Amen. Ki ayin bayin aru b'shuvat anay tzion. Atat akum tarachem tzion ki et lecha nana ki vamoy. Ashibenu Adonai lecha v'nashu b'chadash yameinu ke kedem. And we all have the schut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle. And we all have part in Eretz Yisrael, Bezrat Hashem. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו, אשר שפתי תפתח ופי יגיד תהילתך, ואין everything that we do is בשם כל ישראל. אמן. כל ישראל. השיעור בעזרת השם זה לעילוי נשמת all of the souls that died on קידוש השם, and השם יקום דמם, and also לעילוי נשמת שושנה אפרת. שושל המפרד בת מלכה עליה שלום תהיה שום תעצורה וצר חיים and that all of the captives will come back home safely mentally and physically and בעזרת השם מהשם help all of our soldiers שילכו לשלום ויחזרו לשלום and מהשם גיב רפואה שלמה to all of the wounded בעזרת השם among all of the sick people מאלף עטף עליה שלום תהיה שום תעצורה וצר חיים עכשיו, dear ladies, we are פרשת וישב this Shabbat, and always, וישב ומקץ, always are in Chanukah, it always comes together בסייעתא דשמיא. So we're going to speak today about Chanukah. I would like to remind you that it's good to take the menorah, which means tonight, take the menorah out. It's good to take it three days. I sent it in the WhatsApp. Yeah. Three days before Hanukkah and leave it three days after Hanukkah because you remember after Hanukkah comes Purim. This is a leap year. This comes Badar Bet and we have Purim. And Purim Ketan Badar Aleph. But we have Purim on a, after Hanukkah. So the decree always stands three days. So if we had a decree, if we have a decree, and we see that we have a, a, upon the children of Israel a decree that is not so good, so it's better to take the Hanukkah, the, the light of the menorah, our intentions, to, lit the, uh, to kindle the lights of, of the menorah, Besiyat Rishmaya, will take away all of the darkness Amen. from Amen. all of us. So three days before, and then three days after, and only after three days, put back the menorah in its place. So Bezrat Hashem, take the Hanukkah out, Tonight, Bezrat Hashem, in order to take any decree that is not good, in general, above the children of Israel, and individually upon each and every one of us. Okay, this is three days before and three days after. Okay, so uh, I'm reminding you, we are on Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Chaf A, we see Matityahu ben Yochanan Kohen Gadol, we see the Kohanim after the Greeks are coming, uh, and they have a, a culture which is Hellenistic culture that looks only about the external part of a human being, and they didn't really want to kill the Jews. They wanted us not to follow the way of Hashem. They wanted us to, t to study Chas Shalom the Torah as a history book, as a storybook. They didn't want us to believe, to do, because we said, now seven ishma, we're going to do, and then we're going to listen. They didn't want us to have, in, in studying the Torah, the belief in Hashem. They didn't have any problem that we will learn philosophy. But they wanted us to feel, that that's, this, this is what they wanted, that we won't have in everything that we do, we think, we'll think everything is nature. That everything is nature, but we know that Hashem is concealed in nature. Even nature is, is miracles. It's not obvious that the sun comes up, rises every morning, and, and then there's a sunset every night, and we see the moon, and we see the stars. Nothing is obvious. We see the trees growing. We see this is not obvious. This is miracles of Hashem every day. And we came in order to know Hashem in this world. All humanity came in order to recognize Hashem in this world. So... We see that the Greek uh, Antiochus uh, sent uh, at, at the beginning at Nicanor, uh, Nicanor to, to fight. It was his, it was his right hand to fight the children of Israel, and uh, the children of Israel fought back. And he came, went back to Antiochus. Then he saw that he cannot win. He sent uh, Bagris. Bagris came, and this is a. Um, 
טוב, I don't know if I'll have today time, but בלי נדר, tomorrow I'll go into it. Then he brought Bagris, who was also a big general, and he I told the children of Israel that they're not allowed to keep Shabbat, to keep Brit Milak, circumcision, and to keep Rosh Chodesh. And all of this, we learned about this in previous lesson, Besiyat Adishmaya, but maybe I'll touch it next, Bezrat Hashem, tomorrow. So all of this was in order to, uh, to make us... At, um, To, that, that, we will, that we will be under the constellations because when we keep Shabbat, we, can, we keep circumcision and we keep Rosh Chodesh, the first day of the month, Rosh Chodesh, then we are above the constellation. We are not under the constellation because only the children of Israel can be above the constellation. In Mazal Yisrael, even though we have constellation, our constellation is Aquarius, Gli, that, that, that uh, holds water, and water is Torah. But when we behave as the children of Israel, the children of Abraham, Yitzchak, they are called. When we are called Israel, we are above the constellation. And we have miracles above nature. So he came and he gave all of these decrees, and the, the children, it's, the, the stories, and I'm giving you one, there was a woman that was pregnant, and her uh, husband was killed by the Greeks, And she, and she gave birth to a baby boy, and she went to the walls of Yerushalayim, or the city of Yerushalayim, she asked the Mohel to come and circumcise her son, because they would hang everybody that circumcised themselves. And, and, and after he did the circumcision, she, she fell from the wall with her son. So, and, and the Jewish people gathered together in caves in order to keep Shabbat, and Bagris heard about this, He told them to come out in order not to keep Shabbat, and there were thousands inside the cave. And he took, a, and he took a wood, and he made a fire, and he burned all of them alive. So Matityahu ben Yochanan Kohen Gadol, when he saw this, he took his, his five sons, and they said, Mi la Hashem alai, who, who is to God, come to me. Who is to Hashem, come to me. And a, a few, fought many and Hashem gave them because they did it in, in the they did it in the will of Hashem they did it in the name of Hashem and because they did it for Hashem Leshem Shamayim for, for, for the sake of heaven in order to keep the Torah and in order that, that the children of Israel will continue to, to follow the way of Hashem that Masoret Israel Saba Hashem gave them victory and Bagris ran ran to Antiochus It says, you know, Nicanor, you know how he died? Nicanor was also the right hand of Antiochus. But he died by Yochanan Kohen Gadol. Yochanan ben Matityahu Kohen Gadol. How he, because the, the, the Greeks uh, took the, the women when they were engaged. And they were supposed to get married. And the general would sleep with them before their husband. So Yochanan went with, with the hidden uh, swords small swords that he had, and he came to uh, Nicanor and he told him, okay, I will do what, he was a Kohen, he was a priest, I will do what you are saying, but I, I, you need to take all of the servants that you have around you outside, because if they will tell the Jewish people, they will kill me. So Nicanor told everybody to go out, and Yohanan uh, came to him and he said, uh, uh, Nicanor told him, I want you to put a pig on the altar in Beit HaMikdash. Okay, all of these are stories of, of the second temple. So, so he says, so he told him, okay, I will do this. But first, I would like to speak to you. So he came close to him, and once he was close to him, and he said, I will do what you're telling me. He took the swords and he killed him. And then they fought with the Greeks, and they, they all ran away. When Antiochus heard this, he sent Pagris that gave all of the decrees, now harsher decrees. And Bagris also ran away because Matityahu ben Yochanan Kohen Gadol fought him with his sons and with everybody that came, Mila Hashem Elai, who is to Hashem come to me. And then Antiochus sent a lot of armies. And Matityahu and his children were praying to Hashem, were praying to Hashem that Hashem will save them. And they, they, they had ta'anit, they fasted for three days, put a sack on them, and Hashem gave them victory. The, one of his sons, I think it was Elazar, that was, he could fight an elephant on his own, because they came with elephants also. 
He could fight an elephant on his own. Yehuda, his son, also had such, it's not normal strength. And we're waiting for the 10 tribes to come. They will, the 10 tribes, when they come, they are victorious, they, are, they have strength that, about nature. So we're waiting for all of them to come, Bezrat Hashem, when Mashiach is here, will be revealed, Bezrat Hashem. And Mashiach's process of being revealed, to be revealed, is exactly parallel to what happened with Mashiach Rabbeinu. Mamash. Just like we went out of Egypt, Hashem is going to show us wondrous uh, uh, miracles, Bezrat Hashem. So we see that they fought, they fought Antiochus and all of his uh, uh, armies. Antiochus went to the ocean with a ship, he ran away. So he was called the, the, running, the running away king, uh, Melech Aboreach. This is how they called him. And, and, and then on the 25th of the month of Kislev, they rested, they went into the temple, into Beit HaMikdash in order to clean it from all of the impurity that was in Beit HaMikdash. And they were seeking for oil and they found one kankan, one, um, kankan, kankan, um, one pot of oil that was sealed. And with this, they lit the menorah. And this oil uh, was enough for, eight, this oil had enough oil only for one day. But it, miraculously, which means it, by miracle, it, it was enough for eight days until they went, because they had to go and take olives and crush them and to take, uh, and, and, and in order that they will have uh, oil that comes from the olive and it, has, it should be a, a very good olives. So it took eight days in order to have the new oil that will come because there was only one jar that was enough for one day, but it lasted for eight days. Know that this jar is the jar that Yaakov Avinu in the previous parasha by Ishla, after he, 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 Yaakov Avinu remembers that he forgot the jars of oil on the other side. You remember this is the oil that he put on the stone because this is the place the, the house of Hashem, the house of God. This is the gate of heaven that, that bring, brings abundance of blessings to this world. This is the gate of heaven. This comes from Yerushalayim, Beit HaMikdash. All of the nations, all of the countries are fed from this gate of heaven that is above Beit HaMikdash in Yerushalayim, dear ladies. So, Yaakov Avinu, Ein Zaki Beit Hashem. This is the house of Hashem, and he put oil on the stone. This is the oil, the jars of oil that he forgot on the other side. So we went to the other side. He was fighting the angel. Can you imagine to bring back this oil? This, and it says also, Chazal say that this is also the, the blessing that was in the oil of Eshet Obadia, of the wife of Obadia. You remember that uh, the son of Ahab wanted to take her children, her two children, to in the palace. It, and he, he told that there will be prince, uh, princes in, in, in the palace. But he worshipped other gods and she didn't want to do that. And I'm not going into it. We also learned about this. So uh, Eliyahu, Elisha, Elisha the prophet told her, what do you have? Because her husband, she went to the Beit HaChaim, to the graveyard. And she was shouting, Obadia, Obadia. And the angel that was uh, above the, uh, that is uh, um, <coughs> responsible for the graveyard told her, but there's a lot of Obadia over here that are buried. She said, but he, this is about, about the other righteous, but Hashem says he's there because he was a convert. And he is part of the Treasar. He has a nevuah. He, he is a, a, a Edom convert. We are in the exile of Edom. Esav wanted to be even with Yaakov, so he, so he, called, he called his nation Edom in order to remind him the soup of a lentil that he gave him that was red that he will remember that he took the Bchora, the, the, first, the, the right of the firstborn. But no, he didn't take it because he gave him, he sold it. But you know, people that are liars, they, 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 so he called himself Edom Seir. Seira, the land that Edom is, is the land of Seir. Why did he call it Seir? To remember that he took the blessings that he came with the clothing, uh, you remember his mother gave him uh, um, the, the skin of a goat in order that he will, when his father touches him, mm -hmm. that he will feel the hair because the sub was very hairy. As Baruch Hashem, <coughs> we see that this, so this is the blessing also that uh, the wife of Abadia had with all of the pots of, of oil that she, from one pot of oil, she filled all of the pots of oil. 
and this is the oil that they are towing also the kings of Israel and the Kohanim. Can you imagine? Bezrat Hashem, when Mashiach is here, everything is going to be revealed. Also the man, we'll see the man that they concealed in order to show the children of Israel that Mashiach is here. So, so dear ladies, I, this is, and, and don't forget Yudit, Yudit, which was, uh, which was a, a, a hero, and, and she killed one of the generals of the Greeks in order to save the children of Israel. She cut his head after she gave him, that's why we have a minhag to eat on Hanukkah also dairy things, because she gave the, the, the general a dairy a f a food and she gave him wine until he slept and then she cut his head, she came back to Jerusalem and by this uh, all of the children in, in Jerusalem went and fought with them and they won the war. Mm -hmm. So this is in general about uh, Hanukkah. Now we're going to the Jewish laws of Hanukkah and the Sgulot, okay? So Bezrat Hashem, מצוות נר חנוכה, נר איש וביתו, המהדרים נר לכל נפש, והמהדרים מן המהדרים, בית שמאי ובית הלל. So let's start. So uh, we light the candles, the menorah, so there are a few, a few customs, because some light one menorah for the whole household. And Ashkenazim, light, each one lights a menorah. And Beit Hillel and Beit Shammai, Beit Shammai said that we light at the first day eight candles, and every day one less. Hillel said, no, we light one candle and every day we add because ma'alim ba'kodesh ve'lo moridim ba'kodesh because with holiness we elevate and not uh, de decrease uh, holiness. So the halacha, the commandment is by Bet Hillel and we add every day a candle to the menorah, okay? And uh, how do we add? So at Saba, how do we put them? We put them from right to left, okay? So there's one candle for the first day, and then the second day we start again from right, and the second day from, it's left to, to the right, okay? From right to left, and we light the candles from left to right. Why? Because right is chesed, is mercy, and left is judgment. We start with chesed and we finish with chesed. We start with mercy and finish with mercy. So we, we put the candles uh, from right to left, and we, and we light them from left to right. Bezat Hashem. Where do we put... Where do we put the candles? So at the menorah. So our sages say we put it outside so everybody can see the miracle. Everybody can be part of the miracle. And it's on the left side of the door. On the right side is a mezuzah. On the left side is the menorah. And when you go in, and if it's a man, he has a tzitzit. And so when he comes in, he's, he's surrounded with mitzvot. And also us, when you go into the door, we are surrounded with mitzvot. Right side we have the mezuzah, the left side we have the menorah. We are surrounded with, with mitzvot. With this, we bring Mashiach closer. Amen. Furthermore, Besiata Dishmaya, uh, when do we light the candles? So we light the candles by Allah, we light the candles when, we, when the stars appear. When we see three stars, we light the candles. People who, are, who, are, who, who <coughs> want to do the mitzvah, uh, quickly, after we say our beat, when lighting the candles is b b by the appearance of the stars. So uh, sunset, you can already light the candles uh, on sunset, it's around five o'clock. So you can light the candles after our beat. The first uh, day of, um, of Hanukkah, we say three brachot over the, uh, over the candles. We say, ברוך אתה השם אלוקינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו להדליק נר חנוכה. Okay, there are three ברכות at the first day. The second ברכה is שעשה ניסים לאבותינו בימים ההם בזמן הזה. ברוך אתה השם אלוקינו שעשה, אלוקינו מלך העולם שעשה ניסים לאבותינו בימים ההם בזמן הזה. Which means we need to really believe in it. ממש to believe in it. That made miracles to our to our, for our forefathers in those days, and, and and in these days we need to believe that Hashem is going to be, let us be victorious because we are His firstborns and Hashem loves us and Hashem clings to us Baruch Hashem because Anachnu Raya Meimana that Avakadosh Baruch Hu Besiata Lishma 
So, um, dear ladies, and the third and the third one for the first day is Shechianu. Baruch Ata Hashem Elokenu Melech Haolam Shechianu Vekimanu Vigianu Lamazman Azeh. Then this is only on the first day, and then the other days, okay, it's it's only the first two. Ladlik Ner Chanuka to light a candle of Chanuka, and Shasan Yisim Lavotenu Bayamim Ayem Bazman Azeh that Hashem made miracles to our uh, to our forefathers, to our fathers. Uh, in those days and in this time, okay? <coughs> only two, for only the first day is three, Shechian is only on the first day, but then all of the other days it's only two uh, brachot. Uh, okay, and after we light, uh, okay, when we light the candles, this is very important, when we light the candles, we should be, uh, we should visualize, okay, Ladlik Ner Chanukah, you see, I'm, I'm, to light the candle of Chanukah. Notzer and the 13 attributes of Hashem that we had, the Prophet had, Notzer Chesed, Notzer Chesed Lalafim, that Moshe Rabbeinu received, that, which means that Hashem uh, 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 gives abundance of, of mercy to a thousand generations. Okay? V'nafshenu chiktal Hashem from chapter, this is from chapter uh, 33 in Tehillim, Nafshenu chikta lehashem, our soul is waiting for Hashem, we're all waiting for Hashem to reveal Himself. Mm-hmm. We want Malchut Shamayim, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of, of, the, of the house of King David, and we want the building of the third temple. Yes. So all of this is Rashi Tevot, okay, Nachal. So we need to see these letters in front of us. Then we awaken all of this good psukim, all of this uh, verses, besiata lishmaya, all of the merit that is in these verses. So this is when we light the candles. We need to think about it when we light the candles. Once we finished uh, to light, uh, w- once we lit the first candle, we say anero talalu shano madlikim. We say it, and then after that we say mizmor shirchanu katabait le David. And um, uh, this is chapter 30 in Tehillim. We'll speak about it in a, by, by this gulot in a few minutes. And then we say Maos Tzu. Maos Tzu is uh, divided to all of the exiles of the children of Israel until Mashiach. Mamash, every, every paragraph is about an exile. The exile of Egypt, the exile of Babylon, the exile of, of, of Yavan, of Greece, the exile of uh, Parasum Adai, the exile, uh, the, the exile of Edom, and Mashiach Vesiyat Adishma, and Ishmael is also there. So we, we say Maos Tzu, okay? I'm going to Yom Shishi, Friday, Friday before Lakat Merot. We light the can- first before we light the candles of Shabbat. We light the candle uh, the candles of Hanukkah, the menorah. But you have to see that you have enough oil, or the or the candle is big enough that because it has to be the, the lighting uh, the, um, the oil has to be enough for half an hour. Okay, after the stars come out, at least half an hour it should be lit. So you have to see on Friday that you have enough oil. That it will be uh, that because we light before we light the, sh- the candles of Shabbat before um, before it's at the Kochavim. so we need to see that we have enough oil for this. So this is be on Friday, but on Motzei Shabbat there are two different ways uh, that we uh, light the menorah. One is the, in the shul in the synagogue, and one is at home. In the shul we light the menorah and then we bless over the havdalah. We do the havdalah. But at home, we do the Havdalah, and then we light the menorah, okay? So it's different. You'll see in the shul, you, you'll hear the lighting of the menorah, and then the Mevachim uh, Alakos, Havdalah Alakos. But at home, first we do the Havdalah, and then we light the menorah. Okay, oh, a very important thing is the whole Hallel. Even on Pesach, we don't say the whole Hallel. But on Hanukkah, for eight days, we say the whole Hallel. So we should say it with happiness, with, with all of our hearts, because Hanukkah is above nature. Hanukkah, even the nature is, is a miracle. All that happens in nature is all miracles. Hanukkah is the only time that we allow to ask from Hashem for miracles above nature. Not in any, any time in the year we are not allowed, because if we ask for miracles above nature, Hashem takes from our merit from all of the mitzvot that we did, the commandments that we followed and the good deeds that we did. And we don't know if a miracle will happen to us. But on Hanukkah, 
it's above nature. So on Hanukkah we can ask for miracles above nature. So, and we read Parashat HaNesim, in a minute we'll speak about it, in, in uh, Tfilat uh, Shmona Esrei, and also Birkat HaMazor, we say Al HaNesim, okay? I'm reminding you to say that. Uh, Hanukkah, we don't have a sped betachanun, we don't mourn on Hanukkah. And we so, don't say tachanun, we don't say chatati, abiti, pashati on Hanukkah, because this is a... Days, these are days that Hashem made miracles to the children of Israel. That's why it's, it has the ability to make miracles, the light uh, and the, the abundance of blessings that Hashem poured on us on Hanukkah. Every year comes back. So we can, Bezrat Hashem, we can awaken it that we will see miracles above nature. Furthermore, we have a, we'll speak in a minute about Parashat Anesim. I'm reminding you, Hanukkah is above nature. Uh, what do we do? The main two commandments of Hanukkah is lighting the menorah, okay, to light the menorah, and to say Halil. So we're do, doing two fixing. The fixing of the eyes, because especially for women to sit next to the menorah and the men, it says, it's, our sages say that, uh, uh, that um, Hanukkah atones, can you imagine, just by sitting next to the menorah and looking at the light of the candles, it atones for sins that, uh, that you can't even atone for this, which means uh, spreading sperm in vain and looking at things that you are not allowed to look at them. It cleans our eyes. The eyes are the mirror of the soul, and it cleans our eyes, Hanukkah, by sitting next to the menorah for half an hour and looking, and looking at the candles. But now there are 36 candles that we light without the shamash. 36 candles. 36 candles are parallel to the 36 hours of the light that in the beginning that Hashem created the world. That light we could have seen, Adam Rishon, the first human being, saw from the beginning of the world to the end of the world. And all of this was concealed because Hashem saw that there will be wicked people in this world and they will use it to, to, to do evil things in this world. So Hashem concealed it to the righteous. This light appears in three things. In the light, in the candles of Hanukkah, in the sun, and in the Torah, and righteous tzaddikim. Yes, the 36 hours that this light was. That's why you see tzaddikim that can see in the future and, and give the future. Like, uh, like Abba Basali, Abba Al Shem Tov, Rabbi uh, Arizal, Rabbi Shalom Sharabi, and all of the righteous tzaddikim that could see because this light was concealed in the sun, was concealed in the Torah. Kenza uh, Oraganuz. This was concealed in the Torah and in the righteous tzaddikim and in the lights of, of Hanukkah, in the, ca in, the, in the candles of Hanukkah. Okay. So this, this is the light that it was concealed. So we can see that it says that there was, there was a, a person that had a problem with his eyes. And, and they told him, the doctors, you know, you're, at this rate you're going to chas shalom, lose your eyesight. So he came to the Baal Shem Tov and said, what shall I do? Nobody finds, uh, there's no... A medicine. So he said, we are before Hanukkah, when you light the candles of Hanukkah, dive into Hashem, pray to Hashem, and cry to Hashem. And you, don't, and you, you know what the miracle happened? Every day that he lit the candles, he was standing and looking at the menorah, at the, the light of the candles, he kindled the, the, the candles, and he was crying to Hashem, please Hashem, give me so I can study Torah, so that I can do your mitzvot, and I can see, I have back... He cried and cried and cried. After eight days, he went for a checkup, and they couldn't believe it. The doctors, he was, his eyes were healed, and that there's no, there, were, there wasn't any medicine that can help him. And they asked him, "What did you do?" So I, I, I just cried next to the menorah. So, and how do we know? Because Melech Rofe Neiman, a loyal a, 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 a king. Yeah. And a loyal healing king <coughs> equals in numerical value, I think this is 518, equals to Ladlik Ner Hanukkah, to light the candle of Hanukkah. So you see Baruch Hashem. Furthermore, we have this, uh, some customs. We have Mei Hanukkah. It says that the children, it's, they are standing, 
I want to give you it. Um, it says, it says in the Gemara, no hagin anarim anim lesaveh bechanuka ala ptachim. That all the poor uh, kids are go to the, the, the houses in order to uh, to take coins. Uh, it's daka for Chanukah, charity for Chanukah. You know, he who gives charity brings Mashiach closer. Why? Because when we bring sh a charity, you remember we, we learned about it. It's uh, we, we have on the right mezuzah. side, yeah. Okay, on the right side, this is Yemin Mezuzah. Be Yemin Mezuzah. And then we have small on the left side, Hanukiah. Nachon? You see all of this? Yemin Mezuzah. Okay, I'll put it to it. And on the right side, there's a mezuzah. On the left side, we said we put the menorah, nachon? Small Hanukkah. So I'm, so I'm putting, yes. So I'm putting, if you take these letters, Mem, Yud, Shin, Bechet, is Mashiach. But in order to combine it together, you have to do a mitzvah. Because the, the, on the right side, there's the mezuzah. On the left side, there's, there's the menorah. But they are not connected. How do you connect them? You come out of the door and you give tzedakah, then you fulfill the name of Hashem and you bring the letters together and it's Mashiach, and you bring Mashiach closer. So as Baruch Hashem, look how beautiful it is. So, so dear ladies, so we have Mei Chanukah, please give Mei Chanukah. Nobody, Hashem always says that nobody becomes poor from fulfilling his will. So if we have a good heart for others, Hashem bestows abundance of blessings upon us. More than we give. Furthermore, Subganiyot Velevivot. Oh, it's a celebration of Subganiyot. Okay, dear lady. It's, it's Finch in Arabic, but it's uh, Subganiyot Donuts. This is the festival of donuts. And it says that we should eat a donut. And the father of... Uh, uh, the father of... the. Um, the father okay, of the uh, Arambam, Rabbi, <laughs> Rabbi Maimon ben Yosef. Rabbi Maimon ben Yosef, it says about him that he says in, in the book of Rabbi, uh, part one, uh, sign two, Siman Bet. As, this is what it's written there. This is Gula for Parnasa. Okay? The aim is at Zel. This Gula is This is one of the customs of the children of Israel. And you shouldn't um, ignore this custom. And it says, and this, and the sphinge and the donuts should be with deep oil, that it will be prepared with deep oil. And he who eats from it every day, Baruch Hashem of Chanukah, not saying eat eight subganiot, but one a day doesn't make us uh, gain weight. Okay? <laughs> so it says, <laughs> it says, listen, right. this Chanukah can bring a, a blessing of parnas of good income for the whole year. <laughs> so, uh, so it says, to eat, and he says like this, and he says, And he who does it quickly and, and eats the, the donut, will see miracles, salvation. So this is one, this is Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef the, the father of Arambam, okay, he says, But now I'm going to the Ashkenazi side. So all, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Oyerbach, Allah wa Shalom Zchutot Agen Elenu, he also says that. And he says this in the book of Alichot Shlomo, Shasubganiyot and Sgula le Parnasa. Subganiyot is a Sgula for good Parnasa, for good income. And he says like this, Betfila al Beit HaMikdash, and it's also a Tfila for Beit HaMikdash. Why? Because he said, Al HaMikhya. Okay, so it's Tfila al Beit HaMikdash. Vagula and salvation. Lachen madgish arab, so he goes further, he says, it's important to eat the, the donuts alone, not when we make a meal and we say a motzi, so we don't bless over them. 
No, you finish the mozi, you eat brikat amazon, you eat the donut on its own. <laughs> yes, the donut on its own. You say, Hashem, I'm eating it for you, Vesiyat Adishat. So he says like this. לאכול את הסופגניות לבדן, ולא כחלק מהארוחה, not part of the meal, but alone. So you can say, על המחיה ערב תודה. And he says, וזאת משום שבברכת על המחיה, because the ברכה, the after ברכה that we say, after מזונות, על המחיה, נתונה על מיני כל סימ... על מיני מזונות שאנו מזכירים את... We mention על מזברך ועל היכלך. We mention all the, on your altar and on your temple. So this is only the mezonot. We say on your altar and on, on your temple together. Kol simchat ha-Chanukah hi Chanukat ha-Mizbeach. All of the celebration of Chanukah is the celebration of dedication of the Mizbeach, of the altar that the children of Israel had because they finished uh, preparing uh, the, the holy temple, uh, the holy tent. In, in the desert, they finished on Chaf Alef Kislev, on, on Kislev, on the 21st of Kislev, and they dedicated on, on the month of Nisan. That's why you're going to read the Nesim, that's why the reading of the Torah of Chanukah is Besiyat Adishmaya from Chumash Bamidbar, Parashat Neso. All of the Nesim, all of the presidents that came, of the tribes that came to give the presents for the dedication of the Holy Tent. Okay? So he says, וזו התפילה כמעט היחידה שבה מזכירים אותו. אז ברכת, אז אנחנו יודעים, both of them say that we need to eat a donut, and we have latkes also, we have celebration, בעזרת השם, and latkes, so I'm not telling you to eat every day 10 donuts, but one donut, in order to say על המחיה, in order to open the gates of פרנסה, because this is חנוכה, nature is above, is, is, is miracles. And uh, this is the only time that we can ask for miracles. During the year, we're not allowed to ask for miracles. But this, Hanukkah, the nature behaves above nature. So miracles is nature on Hanukkah. So it's, a, um, it's the ability of Hanukkah is to be healthy. That equals the Dikner Hanukkah Besiyat Adishman. So this is the ability, Besiyat Adishmaya, that we will have miracles above nature. Now we're going to go to the Nesim first. Go to the Nesim. Parashat Neso. See that you have the Nesim in front of you. Okay, we have Parashat Neso. You see it in front of you? Okay, chapter, it's, um, okay. The Sfaradim, every day of Hanukkah, we read from the Torah from Parashat Nesim. The Parashat, parashat Neso, is read, we read from Parashat Neso three times. Once when it comes as a portion of the week on Shabbat, okay? The second time we read Parashat Nesim is the, the days before Pesach, okay? All of the days before Pesach, the, the 12 days before Pesach, the beginning of the month of Nisan, you remember every, every day is parallel to the, to the Jewish, month, uh, Jewish month of the year and we bless the whole year by this because the month of Nisan by the Torah is the first month of the year. Then we come to Hanukkah, and on Hanukkah also during the eight days, we read the Nesim. So let's go, the Sfaradim start, which Bezrat Hashem, it will be uh, the first day of Hanukkah. The Sfaradim start at chapter, Parashat Neso, Chumash Bamiba, chapter six, verse 22. Ve'edeber Hashem el Moshe le'emor. And this is Birkat HaKohanim. The Sfaradim start the first day of Hanukkah and Birkat HaKohanim. The Ashkenazim, because uh, the miracle was by the Kohanim. So the Sfaradim start with Birkat The first here, you see? It's the first page. It starts over here. This is Birkat HaKohanim, okay? It's, it's uh, uh, chapter 6, verse 22. And the, the Ashkenazim start on ch chapter 7, and verse one, when Moshe Rabbeinu finished uh, combining the holy tent. And this is, the, the, from here it starts the celebration of all of the Nesim that and came to give Jean. presents. Yeah, we start the Ashkenazim, the Ashkenazim, and we're going to start here, and we're going to talk about Moshe. The Sfaradim start from Birkat HaKohanim, okay? The Ashkenazim start, and we're going to talk about which means 
The Sephardim start at the end of chapter 6, uh, the, the triple blessing of the Kohanim, and the Ashkenazim start at the beginning of chapter 7. And the first day uh, is until the end of the first day. You see over there, and I think it's written also, you see next to it, it's written. So the first day is until, uh, until the end of Ayah Makrib Yom Rishon that the one who brought his offering on the first day was Nachshon ben Aminadab of the tribe of Judea. Okay, until the end. You see it over here? So it, until, uh, it's chapter 7, verse 17, including 17. And then you see on this side, I gave you over here, this is for the second day of Hanukkah. You see it's written on the right side. Second day of Hanukkah. The third day of Hanukkah, you see the third... Everybody sees this? Yes. The third day of Hanukkah. So the second day of Hanukkah starts, chapter 7, Parashat Meso, uh, verses 18 to 23, including 23. On the second day, Nathanael ben Suar, the president of uh, the leader, the president of the tribe of, uh, of Issachar. So this is the second day. The third day is chapter 7, verse 24 to 29, including 29. It's the third uh, um, leader of the, of the tribe uh, of Zvulun. And then the fourth day of Hanukkah is from uh, chapter 7, verse 30 to verse 35, including 35. Then let's please go to the next, go to the next one, to the next page. So the fifth day of Hanukkah, fifth day of Hanukkah is very special. It never falls on Shabbat. The fifth, and because it never falls, okay, because it doesn't fall on Shabbat, know that we can daven, we can pray for all of our children, for us, for our siblings, for our husbands in Kalal Israel and the whole world, that we all do tshuva to repent in front of Hashem. This is the, the because this is because it doesn't never falls on Shabbat, so it has the highest. It, it's it's like darkness, so it has the highest light. So we can pray Bezat Hashem that everybody will do tshuva, will repent. Amen. So this fifth day of Hanukkah is chapter seven, Parashat Meso, uh, verses thirty six to to forty one, including forty one. And then we go to the sixth day of Hanukkah. The sixth day of Hanukkah. It's Bayom uh, Shishi. It's chapter seven, verse uh, forty-two until uh, verse uh, forty-seven, including verse forty-seven. The seventh day of Hanukkah, Bayom Ashvi Nesilib Nefaim. It's the the leader of the tribe of Ephraim. Okay, it's from verse. It's uh, chapter seven, verse forty-seven to uh, fifty-three, including fifty-three. Then Zot Hanukkah, the eighth day of Hanukkah starts from chapter 7, uh, verse um, 54, okay, until the end of chapter 7, Bayom Ashmini, it's the seventh, it's the eighth day, okay, it continues uh, until the end, the Zot Hanukkah, you see, ch uh, verse, chapter 7, verse 80, 84, you see verse 84, we, we continue Zot Hanukkah. This is the dedication of the altar. You see, we continue, we finish all this page, including Baalotcha, including the portion of Baalotcha, the four first verse, verses of Baalotcha, one to four, including four, when Aaron Kohen is preparing, is kindling the menorah in the holy tent. Okay? Adasov. Adasov. Zot Hanukkah which is the eighth day of Hanukkah, we'll speak about, we'll come to that. It Most includes to everything. Ah, that's of Adlepo. Okay, until everything, it's all, everything including. Okay, the Siata Dishmaya. Now we're going to go to the Daf uh, of Zgurot. There's a, a lot of Zgurot, but we'll go only on this. Tomorrow we'll continue, okay? Because I want you to hear all of the Zgurot, and if you need, and you, you need children, you need your children to do no. tshuva. There's a there's a sgula every day of Hanukkah. What to say? But we'll speak about it later tomorrow, because I, I don't think we we'll have time now. Okay, uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go to uh, what do we do next to the candles? Okay, we read 
next to the every night girls it's so important that women because uh, women suffered a lot uh, from the Greeks so because the, the Hagmon they had to be uh, they had to be intimate with the Hagmon before they get married mm -hmm. so they suffered a lot from uh, from the Greeks so uh, it's a big mitzvah for the women to sit half an hour next to the candles but if we have so, so if we have small children and we can't sit, at least on the first day of Hanukkah, at least three days, the first day of Hanukkah, the, the eighth day of Hanukkah, and Rosh Chodesh Tevet. Rosh Chodesh Tevet is a big day, and there's a sgula, the Ben Ishchai says, to light a candle for Rabbi Meir Balanes, and to ask for miracles. Write it down, Rosh Chodesh Tevet, to light a candle for Rabbi Meir Balanes. And we say, Eloke darabim ir balanes aneni, Eloke darabim ir balanes aneni, Eloke darabim ir balanes aneni, three times. And we, because the rabim ir balanes, the rabim meir that, uh, that has done miracles. We ask for miracles, Bezat Hashem. So this is on Aleph Tevet. Aleph Tevet, the first day of Tevet, Rosh Chodesh, is also the Hilula of Abraham Avinu. The Hilula of Abraham, so just write it down. Okay, and Aleph Tevet is the Hilula of Abraham Avinu, Besiyat Adishmaya. So light a candle for Abraham Avinu and ask in his merit, in the merit of our forefathers and foremothers and Rabbi Mir Balanes and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and Rabbi Akiva Ben Yosef and the Maccabim Bezrat Hashem. They, are, they were called Maccabim and Chashmoneim. Why Maccabim? Maccabim because it's the initials of Meshirat Ayam for the song that the children of Israel said. When they, when they went through the ocean, they said, uh, uh, they, they said the song with uh, Shirat Ayam with Moshe Rabbeinu, Mi Kamocha Ba'elim Hashem. Who is a God like you, Hashem? So, and, and so this is, uh, and, and Hashmonaim, Hashmonaim, at the time of the Greeks, Hashmon is, 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 a, is a title for a respectful, uh, respectable person, okay? So they were called Maccabim and Hashmonaim. So this is what the Tehillim that we read next to, the, next to the menorah. We start with the end, the last verse of chapter 19 Tehillim. We just say the last verse, okay? And then we read chapter 91 in Tehillim. We read this set, the last verse and chapter 91, all of this set, seven times loud. We say it loud. The eighth time we say it quietly, okay? But seven times we read it loud and then the eighth time we say it quietly. And then we go to chapter 30. And we see, Achida says, why do we read this Mizmor chapter 13? First of all, it's a dedication of the temple. It mentions the dedication of the temple. It's chapter 13 here. But it also has in the initials, okay, the initials of all of the three things that the Greeks didn't want us to keep, which means Shin is for Shabbat. Okay, Mem is Mila, Brit Mila, circumcision. The Chet Zachodesh. The three things that, so chapter 30, the three, the three things that they didn't want us to keep. So this is chapter 30. Mizmor Shir Chanukah Abayt Le David. Then we go to chapter 33. Th chapter 33 is, from there, there's the verse, Nafshem Rikhtala Hashem, which the initials is Nachal. Okay, our soul is waiting for Hashem. We want Hashem to be revealed. We want the kingdom of heaven already. Then we go to chapter 67, which is the menorah chapter. Which one? 67. Samech Zayin is the menorah chapter. If you can read it or, uh, by the menorah, it's, we have it by the Siddur, it will be better, Bezat Hashem. After, cha after that, chapter 19. Chapter 19 is the one that we read the Tehillim on Shabbat. Okay, we read it on Shabbat. So this is about the Torah and how, when we follow the commandments of Hashem and study the Torah, that that we become happy. We, we are we are straight and, and, and righteous. Bezrat Hashem, and then we come is more that we sing for Hashem and we are grateful and say thank you. And the last uh, uh, chapter that we read is 133, the unity of the children of Israel, that we sit together, the Besiyat Adishmaya, may Hashem continue, that not only during wars, 
will be together, but also when we when there's peace, we'll be together and united and we understand that the nation sees us as one one people. Amen. They don't see that these are religious, they are they, they, these are they observant and and these are not observant and this is Hasidim and this is Lit Lit Litvish. They don't see the differences. Hashem doesn't see the Litvish. This is in Ematovu Maneim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Besiyat Adishmer. Once we finish, we say Ana Bekoach. Okay, we say Anna Bekoch, and then you say the, the part that is parallel to that day. Okay, if it's a, if it's a Thursday, so which means if it's the night of Friday, then Yachid Gela Amchap Ne Zochet Dushatecha. You repeat three times the one after when you finish Anna Bekoch. You repeat three times the one that is parallel to the day that we are in already. Okay, and we finish with Baruch Shem Kvod Malkuto Olam Veid. As, I, as Hashem gave me to tell you, if you don't have as women the time to sit next to, and then you can eat a donut. <laughs> you, know, you said that to heal you, then you can eat the donut. You say, Mizonot, Hashem, please open the gates of health, because first of all, we need help, mentally and physically. First, we read Okay, first you read healing. And then, and then you ask from Hashem, you ask everything that you want for Klal Yisrael first. Mashiach now, because if Mashiach is revealed now, we are victorious in everything, and there will be peace all over the world, and all of this list of getting married and being healthy and having children, that we don't need the list anymore. Because Hashem will take the sourness of the evil inclination, so this is over. Know that we are mamash at the end because the, the promise of Hashem to Abraham Avinu that the offsprings of Ishmael will be all over the world is already here. Yeah. Immediately after, that he's going to fall. This is the end of Chayei Sarah. Immediately after that, Ele Toldot Yitzchak Ben Abraham. The children of Israel, Bezrat Hashem, Hashem will put them in the right place. And all of us and all of the nation will love us and we will love them. There won't be any problem anymore. Because we are one family from Adam and Eve. So it's even ridiculous that we are fighting. But uh, this is Amalek, Ve'erev Rav. So Besiyat Adishmaya, dear ladies, this is a big school. So if you can't sit next to the candles, at least the first day of Hanukkah, the eighth day of Hanukkah, which has a properties of, of getting pregnant. For everybody that needs to get pregnant, this is the eighth day of Hanukkah. I'm reminding you that Hanukkah, the eighth day of Hanukkah is the end of judgment from Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi David Medinov, the son of Avnei Sachar, Rabbi Tzvi Elimelech Medinov, says that there's a hand open in heaven by the Zohar Kadosh waiting for us to do tshuva, even, even tshuva for sperm that is, uh, that is spilled, uh, that, that, that is spell, uh, spilled. Even this you can do tshuva with the candles, the men can do with the candles of Hanukkah. Uh, sights that we saw that are not good, words that we took out of our mouth that is not good because the mitzvah is to light the candles in order to cleanse our eyes that are holy. And the, and the mitzvah is to say the halel, to praise the name of Hashem on Hanukkah and to fix everything that we did with our speech so it's a big thing furthermore Bezrat Hashem uh, oh, oh I'm reminding you I'm reminding you to make a condition the oil that you bought you say before Hanukkah that, uh, that you are using it for Hanukkah but you can also use it for Shabbat or other things if you didn't make a condition you cannot use it Yes, yes, I told you to put it. I'm going to remind you again, when Sukkot comes, put the oil in the Sukkah. So all of the Ushpizin, all of the, all of the, all of the guests that come into the Sukkah, all of Ram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, David, Amelech, that come into the Sukkah every day of Sukkot, well, all of the blessings will come on this oil. Then when you lit it, it has a, a, a properties of blessings. Furthermore, Besiyat Adishman, Okay, uh, I'm reminding you that the wax that you have, the Siata Dishmaya, you gather them, and there's a custom like uh, when we burn the chametz before Pesach with the lulav and aravot, and then we also burn the wax of Hanukkah. Wicks, the wicks. The wicks, Oh, thank you, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> Everybody's awake. The wicks of Hanukkah. <laughs> so, to that, it's going to uh, so, so uh, yeah, you yeah. collect them and you can burn them. 
I also saw a minhag that they say that you collect the, okay, we, we know that it's, it's written over here that to collect the oil and it's, it has properties of, um, of healing. But now that Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu, Olav Hashem, Shrutot Egen Elenu, Shaya Rishon Etzion, a person came to him, a mother came, and she said that her daughter has problems with her spine, and they can't help her. And so he told her, take the, the oil of Hanukkah that you gathered, what's left over, and, and just uh, rub it on her again. And a little by little, she, be, she, could, uh, she, she started walking again. She couldn't move because of this. So this is one. But second, there's also... But I, tomorrow I'll, I'll tell you because I need to find it. But there's also a sgula to get married. If you take all of the oil that was left over and you burn it, the oil that was left the over. The no, the, no, not the, no, the oil, the oil, not but the wick. the wick, the all the fertile. This is on chametz, with no Pesach, but I'm speaking about the oil that oh, is left sorry. over. And you burn it, then it says that if you go over it, if you're not married, I think seven times, right. from side to side, you get married. Okay, but this is also a sgula. But I would like to tell you something, Besiada Dishmaya. One of my students, and we'll finish with this, because tomorrow we'll continue. There's a lot of sgulot, and also for tshuva. So we'll do it tomorrow by the Zoom lesson. So Bezrat Hashem, one of my students called me, and she was speaking with me, and she said that she remembered uh, she remembers the lessons that Hashem gave me like uh, 13 years ago, 2010. And uh, you know, I, Hashem gave me then to speak about the five exiles, which we said that the fifth exile is not for exile, it's for the coming of Mashiach, Mashiach which is Shmael, and uh, which means in, in its uh, essence, it's not an exile, it's the, ju uh, the jumping step for Mashiach to be rebuilding this world. Yes. So, I, so and, and Hashem gave me to give then also a few shurim about Yisrael Bishmael at the end of time. So, she's, uh, you remember I told you at the end of Parashat Chayesara, Al Pnei Kol Echav Nafal, that he uh, eventually he, uh, he's going to be, uh, his offsprings are going to be of, of Ishmael all over the world, but then he's going to fall. Okay? So, and then uh, Mashiach, uh, the children of Israel will rise up. Okay? So Nafal, dear ladies, will fall. Noon, it's the initials of New York. Okay, which is Noon. K is Paris. And Lamed is London. That they will do a lot of problems at the end of days. Wow. At, in New York, in Paris, and in London. So dear ladies, we are Mamash at the end of days. Mamash, and literally, and she was calling me and she said, you know, I remember that you told it, uh, that you gave us the lessons then, I remember that, uh, she said she told it to her daughters, so dear ladies, may we all be zochet to greet Mashiach, Tzidkenu Marchamim Rimi Marabi Amin Amin, Bezrat Hashem Eliyahu Nabi Zachur Latov, Lolam Yipred Adam Mechavarot Bar Alachai Yachid Barabim, Alachai Kerabim, and Besiyah Zedishmeh, Okenu Kol Bet Yisrael, Anetunim Batzara Ovashvi, Aumdim Ben Bayam, Ben Bayabasha, המקום ירחם עליהם, ויוצא מצרה לרווחה, ומאפלה לאורה, משיבות לגאולה, השתה דאג לה בזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. בעזרת השם, חנוכה שמח, חג חנוכה שמח.